In the last example, we have created a JFrame in which uh, I have shown a text called as hello world using a label. Let's run it again. So if I say run, you can see the output is hello world. Now let's say I want to I want to take two labels. One label will print hello world and the second will, label will print uh, welcome Navin. Now for that what we can do is we can just go to GUI. Now to show two text we need one more label. So we'll say label J label will say L1 equal to new J label and the text I want to show here is we'll say welcome Navin. Simple and after adding L, let me add one more object now which is L1. Simple. So the output I'm expecting is it's it's hello world and after hello world there will be one more text which is welcome Naveen. So that means on your GUI you want to see two text. Let's run this to see what the output will be. If you run this file, uh oh, we are getting only one output. Where is hello world? Now the problem is by default your frame, your J frame follows something called as card layout. Now what exactly card layout means? It's, it follows card layout. So what it means is once uh, when you play cards, those uh, like uh, when you play those cards, when you have five cards, you can see only one card, right? It's something like a stack of cards. You can see only the top card in the same way. When you add it, when you added L, it, it took all the area of your J frame. When you added L1, it took again, it overrided that hello world and it, it now you can you can only see welcome Naveen because you are the layout you are following here is card layout. Now uh, let me demonstrate card layout once more. Let's say you have this window and this window. Uh, let me show you. Let me run this again. Now you can see I have two windows, one window is here and second window is here. So if I follow a card layout, what is card layout? One window or one component will override another component. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that we don't have uh, that earlier component there, but the last component is overriding the old component, right? And to solve this problem, we need to change the layout and the default layout here is card layout, we need to change that layout into some new type of layout. Now to change the layout, we need to use a method called as set layout. Now set layout a method will ask you for an object of layout. Now what are the options you can use here? So one, the, one of the option is a flow layout. Then we can use a grid layout. We can even use null layout. And we have lots of layout. In this tutorial, we'll say we'll use flow layout. Not exactly flow layout is by default all the component will take the uh, middle part or middle space of the middle middle area of the frame. So how to use flow layout? Well, we need an object of flow layout. So we have to say new. It is flow layout. So when you say new flow layout it will pass the object of flow layout into set layout. That means instead of using card layout, now we are using flow layout. If I run this application now, run this file, and you can see we are getting two text. So it will they will try to capture the center of your J frame. Clear? So even if I add more frames or more uh, labels, it will try to occupy the middle space of your J frame. So this is your flow layout. And in next tutorial, we'll see some uh, advancement, maybe some buttons and the text field. Till then, do subscribe for the further, do subscribe and wait for the further videos.